Hello, my name is Grace Jo, and I am the coordinator of the J School at FUA. The J School offers studies in publishing, communication, and journalism. And I'm very proud to present a preview of an upcoming of an upcoming book that will be published by the Campus Press of FUA, which is in Gorda, and it works very closely with the J School at FUA. Uh, the upcoming book project is a very exciting project for us because it talks about the idea of craftsmanship, which is very important here, as most people know, in the city of Florence. Our project wants to show a contemporary interpretation of the idea of craftsmanship, so not just the idea of craftsmen in their dark and dusty laboratories, but we want to also show young, uh, young craftsmen, young artists, young individuals who are making and creating uh, the arts and crafts here in Florence today. The book project that I'm here to speak to you about is called Crafted with Soul, and it is a project that has been worked on with the collaboration of the J School's one-year publishing program. The publishing program lasts for two semesters, and the students are involved in all aspects of a book publication, which also includes production. So. The we have uh, modern artisans like Super Duper Cats, uh, who are a trio of young cat makers. They learned, um, they learned from ground up all of the traditional techniques of creating hats uh, in the Tuscan method, and they are using these methods to create uh, wonderful, extremely creative, and extremely innovative hat designs today. Uh, we also have Camarini, which is known for their hosiery fashion. Um, they are not only famous for their own brand, their own, uh, their own line, but they are also called upon by fashion designers from all over the world to use their hosiery. Sure, an artist like Susan Nevelson, whose prints and whose artwork has been featured uh, by designers such as Ken Smith. Uh, the four elements are an important feature of our book on craftsmanship. Um, we start with fire and we take a look at earth. Uh, from earth we move on to water as well as air and um, one might ask us why do you focus in this book on the four elements well it's because four elements are really important and have been really important in the history of uh, Florentine craftsmanship with the group of publishing students and the faculty members we conducted a research on how the four elements were studied and were analyzed by the artists, the architects, uh, by all the great minds of the Renaissance. And studying these four elements, we realized that each of the elements has some kind of connection or relationship to techniques that are seen throughout methods of craftsmanship. So when we think about something like fire, we think of the, uh, we think about the design of patchwork, for example. Uh, when we think about earth as an element, uh, geometry comes to mind. Uh, we think about water and the, the, the style of multi-layering is something that inspired us. And last but not least, thinking about the element of air, weaving came to mind. And so what we did is we explored and we um, looked throughout the city of Florence for artisans whose work and whose craftsmanship uh, recalled in some way the elements and what the elements inspire. So we are now concluding the research process for the book Crafted with Soul and it's really exciting to see the design of the book which is starting to take shape and uh, the interviews coming together and our hope is that through this volume, this publication, we hope that readers will discover not only Florence confined to museums and to traditional arts, but we want our readers to see how the tra traditional arts are important and will always be important, but how they're being renewed and how they're being um, and how they're being challenged by young designers and young craftsmen today to create a newer, more contemporary idea of Florence, Italy. Uh, we hope that you will look out for our book, which is being published by FUA's Campus Press in Gorda. And the book is slated for publication in early 2013. So stay tuned with us, and we hope that you will become a reader soon. Thank you.